Welcome to Ripple Remix Lab Live Twitches. I'm your boy T Pain. I'm your goddamn host. This is my homeboy Murder Beast. Murder Beast, please you know introduce what I'm yourself. Saying? Chef Murder in the building, in the kitchen, cooking up today in the A. I'm my dog's crib. You know what I'm saying? We're about to get that work, man. You know Let's what go. it is. We're in my home studio right now, which means I'm allowed to wear sweatpants. And Murder can come in whatever he wants to. I wore splash pants, he wore splash pants. You know we made him put on the splash pants because he's a little taller. He didn't have on pants earlier. <laughs> but we can see his underwear and we had to make him wear pants. But we will today be working on my new single, Might Be, featuring Gucci Mane, originally produced by Young Fire. But today, we're going to get a smash remix from my homeboy, Murder Beats. And oh, oh it's going to be so glorious. First of all, how you feeling? I'm feeling good, man. How you doing? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling fantastic. Honestly, I'm a fan. I'm a big fan of yours no, as well. This is the there. first time we got to link up and work on music. So, so you know. this is great. This is great. The first time we get to link up, we're both getting paid for it. That's always good. Shout out to Rebel. So, let's get started. First of all, how you feeling about, do you like the track? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Bitch, you it feel, might you, be. You, <laughs> bitch, it might be. <laughs> This show delivers. Okay, so we're gonna be able. To, you're gonna be able to. You're gonna be able to remix and, and do your thing on this, yeah, right? Yeah. So honestly, to everyone watching at home, this is my second time listening to the song. So second time hearing the song, and we're about to <laughs> immediately remix it. So this should be fun. Um, look, man, if everybody's waiting on this track to come out, I can't wait for you to hear it. Uh, I can't wait for you to hear the remix because this will be the official remix that we're doing for the song. So. You get to see it be made right in front of your face. Except for my parts. I'm going to go in, do some new verses, see if I can get Gucci to do another verse. He's busy, though, so that's how that usually I'll works. I'll get Gucci to do it. He can get you to do it. Everybody else can get Gucci to do anything shout I want to do. Shout out to Wap. So, that, you know, always shout out to Big Wap. You already know what it is. Salute to uh, wife and, uh, Wap and the wife. So I appreciate y'all. This is a dope-ass verse. Thank you very much. Just had to get that off my chest. Now. What program are we using today? What, what software are we using today to do the remix? using FL Studio, Fruity Loop Gang, you know what I'm saying, all that. Fruity Loop Gang, you know what I'm saying? I don't know the gang size. It's not one, it's not one. I just made it. Copyright that, go back on this and copyright that for me. Thank you. Sweet, so let's start the process. We got all the stems here. Before we start the process, is there any way we can get some Red Bull remix in, our, in my cup? We need some Red Bull remix immediately. This is, it's the Red Bull, so it's, an official, it's an official remix drink. Mm -hmm. All right, but yeah, so let's get started. So let's get started. So we got the stems from the original track. Right, right, right. Right. We got everything. Do you only use FL Studio, or you use yeah, like different? Not. FL Gang, man. I, I told you. That's, that's it, right? There's just so I many. I told FL Gang. FL Gang. <laughs> we coming for we coming for them chains. <laughs> FL Gang. I don't know. That, that might mean something. I'm sorry to anybody's gang that I just threw up. I, I, I'm not with you. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know. I, I just, I just don't. Uh, all right, sweet. So where are we going? Should we go over we, like a game plan of like what I think we should do? You, you put it. Go ahead. Do it. Do your thing. Because you, right, you're, so you're the, you're the, you're the chef. I'm just gonna open some FL keys. It's a stock VSP. By the way, you, you, you said you're, you're starting to use FL. I'm starting to use FL. Okay. I'm starting to get on it. So. So this is, this is just like a, this is just like a, a stock VST that comes with it. Okay. It's like, I think it's a beautiful piano. You know, you got the grand piano. How's it sound? Piano. No, it's not bad. Just like a normal piano. Thank oh. you, thank you, Rebel, for the remix. Rebel remix. Thank you guys. Killing it. Sweet. All right, so so we can work with the stems. We got FL keys pulled up. Stock VST that's already in, in FL Studio. All right, so I mean, we, we we get started on this. In what way? What do we not need from the first track, or do we need anything from the first track? Um, I'm gonna use it as a skeleton right now, and okay. then see if we can fit some pieces into it. But for right now, I think that because you're just like a phenomenal musician. Okay. You should lay down some chords for the people watching at home. I can do I can and, do chords. And for Young Murder, who's in your house. And right for now. Young Murder. So. I'm excited. I usually don't get to participate on the beat parts of this. Cause I told Red Bull just he knows. has to participate or I'm not doing it. So I just, like really, the, I just really wanted to do a collab with T-Pain. And <laughs> This is how it happens. So. I wore my tight shirt today too, bitch. It's on. I'm ready to go, goddammit. That's what I'm talking about. You wanna like, you wanna like feel out the chords? I can do it. I, can I do muted it. the music or the. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go up on this one. Huh? I might not need the 808s right now too, because if I wanna throw something else in there. Okay. All right. Oh, that's kind of dope for like a little breakdown. It is. Bear with me while I figure this out, guys. I'm not right. Yeah, 
it's a, it's a harder process for me to start when it's already. See, I got the song in my mind already, so you know. Do you usually start with keys or you start with drums and stuff? I usually start with melody. You usually start with melody. Drum. Oh boy, but okay. Some, but sometimes I go, I start with drums just to switch it up. It gives me a little different vibe. Uh, all right, all right, I'm getting it. Here we go. Uh, Can you just play okay, it? Okay, we're getting it. Okay, we're yeah. getting into it. We're, we're getting, getting into it. I think I'm uh, 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 first of all, Twitch, like I said, in the chat box, feel free to go ahead and, and tell us how you want this remix to turn out because we have no fucking clue. Uh, we've been pretty much playing VR since yesterday and uh, haven't come up with a game plan at all. So, this is fun. Oh shit, go back. I can do it, I can do this. Wait, I didn't know you was recording. I just, yeah. I got an idea of it, I got an idea of it. But feel free to make suggestions on how this remix needs to turn out. Obviously, uh, if your suggestion is fucking terrible, we're just not gonna, we're just not gonna acknowledge you at all. Uh, but if it's great, you know, reward, hello, okay, everybody wins in this. Do you want to actually record, like, one, two, three, record? Yeah, 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 we can do that. So I'm going to start, like, okay, what's going to happen? This is how I record, everyone records differently. Okay, let me know so how you do it. Pretty much, when you hit the key, it's, it's just going to start. Shit. So you got to okay. be like, you got to be like, I'll say it, I'll go, bitch, I, and then you just go. All right, we can try it, let's see what happens. Oh, God. Alright, so just like when you go. Alright, uh, so one, two, three, man. Uh. One more time. I almost got something. Okay. Ha! <laughs> yeah, that's a weird way to do that. It is. Can't lie about that one. God damn it. It's Red Bull right. Edition, man. It's it was Red Bull Edition. Fucking extreme. One more time, one more time. I know I got it. I know I got this. I know you got it. Man. Here we go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's all. That's all I got for you. I got nothing else for you. All right, that's it. We're, do we're done. Shout out to Red Bull. <laughs> Shout out. All right. Man. Thank y'all for coming through. Uh, it, was, it was fun while it lasted. And uh, we'll see you next time. Red Bull Remix Lab Live. Thank you. You can cut it. <laughs> all right, cool. Sweet. All right. So, Where's all the sex people that came? <laughs> Wait, what did you say? <laughs> we had the sex people on standby. Were they coming in? Nah. Uh, oh, <laughs> shit, lit. t on is lit, man. <laughs> Oh, did, did you? Give me a right, give me a right. Felt the way. Oh, thank you. All right, cool, sweet. Had to get my mic fixed. We got, we got standby. We got stuff. <laughs> get, get in there. Nah, we're doing good. Is this still um, live? Yeah, we, oh, we're still good. We're going. It's going to be a lot longer than what we're um, anticipating. But uh, C Zerk said, I want to beat. I want the beat to sound like literal fire. Hey, man. T Pain is with Young Murder. You already know what's gonna happen, man. Shit. I don't. I don't know if he wants. Am I allowed to, to swear? I don't know if he wants. Yeah. I yeah, can I fucking swear. swear. All right, bet. <laughs> can, can I fucking swear? Okay. I don't know if he wants us to put a fire sound effect on the. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna open Omnisphere. <laughs> okay, Omnisphere is always dope. Now, ex like explain, explain, man. explain what you like about Omnisphere. He's just a great guy. He's just a great guy. He's always there for me. All around partier, yeah. party animal. All yeah. right, sweet. So, we're going to Omnisphere. Do you have a go-to? In Omnisphere, like before you start really go getting into your yeah, custom sounds and shit like that, I just randomly click shit and then it just works out. That's what I do. I just, I just, just let it fly. Just close my eyes. There's too much. Like, how could you like? It's a lot, and it's a lot of shit you don't need. But at the same time, I, don't I fucking love Omnisphere, yeah. especially the second one. It's always great. Like that sounds like a hit. Already. All right, it's a smash. We'll see you guys later. Okay. All right. Cut. It's over. <laughs> I love it, man. Hey, man, you played that, man. That does sound pretty cool. Not gonna lie about that.
All right. You guys like it? They do like it. You know you like yes. it. Yes, okay, yeah. Shout out to all my Twitches out there. Uh, you know, Vape Nation, uh, Drift Nation, uh, everybody in the JDMs, you already know what it is. Uh, it's going down. Just want to give all my shout outs now. Shout out to all the strippers in the world. You're doing, God, you're doing God's work. You're, do, you're doing, you're doing. Nah, <laughs> no, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. You know, you know, you, you, you're helping out a lot of people out there. Everybody. Uh, bro man from the flip, bro man from the fifth floor wants it chopped and screwed. Do you want to hear the song chopped and screwed, or you want to chop and screw this? This is a lot of. You can't be vague. Can't be vague, bro man. You got You got to figure this out. We can, we can have like a little chop and screw part at the end. Yeah, we can get that going. All right, sweet. So we got collapse now. You quick with it? Can't lie about that. My bad. You quick with it? Right. We got claps. Where'd the claps come from? I clicked, That's your only personal stance of claps? I clicked them in. Clipped in the claps so I wasn't, or we wasn't looking. You got some murder hats. Let's get some murder hats. There's murder hats already. All right, let's. All right, this track is building fairly quickly. <laughs> so stick around, guys. Shit's about to go crazy. <laughs> now oh, I, now I muted their claps. I mean, what's his name? The guy who made the beat. Who made the beat? Who made the beat? Young Fire. Shout out to Young Fire. Shout out to Young Fire. So I just muted his high hats. No, just... we got all the stems, Fire. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Keep in mind, keep those chats coming to you know show us how you want the track to come out. It's murder's moving pretty fucking fast, so you might want to hurry up with the with the suggestions. Um, I'm gonna speed it. Okay, so the BPM is 125. I'm okay. Put up to like 130. 130 is always good. 130 is always good. We're gonna speed up the track. Now is that gonna throw anything just, off from what you did or from what um, I did? Just like I'm like re stretching everything, so I'm gonna re pitch all the sounds back to how they were and just okay. speed it up just like to 130, just to give it like more of like a. No, it's, yeah. Give it more of a bounce. So song. usually when everything gets speeded up and, and pitched and it starts sounding a little weird, does FL Studio no, take I, care of that? You know, I just like, I re-pitch it. I re-like. So everything's going to stay, stay the same it. pitch. Sure did. Doesn't it sound better? It's pretty, it's pretty bouncy. We're going to bounce it up. Yeah. I love this already. We're speeding it up. You gonna fuck around and make me speed up the, the original version. This is gonna be fucked up. All right, I oh, thought, we adding. I thought that was gonna happen. It's gonna happen now. Man, I'm gonna take all these techniques. Mm. What's your process for putting in other hats and, and... I randomly click places. Okay. And it works out. So just try everything. That's a good tip. Just try everything. Just do, just hit buttons. You can always erase shit. You can always start over. Just try shit, man. Just get in there. The process is real. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Trust the process, guys. Even if there is no process, just fuck it. Just do anything. Just, just click shit until you like it, until it sounds good. You know? I got some murder hash. Okay. Murder hats are always good. I hope you have these named murder things in your <laughs> in your whole just in your whole shit. I got some. Good, 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 good. Put some big 808s in there. Gotta put some big 808s. It's only if T-Pain wants big 808s, man. I'm add. I gotta have big 808s. That's like my jam. That's like, that's always been from the beginning of my career. My very first single had biggest 808s that anybody heard in the industry. So, you know, I'm all about 808s. And I'm from Florida. That's just what we do. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Florida is just. Shout out to Florida, man. Shout out to everybody in Florida. Most, most, eh, most people. Some, some of y'all can suck so, a butt. But. <laughs> this is like, this is like the, like, this is like the, this is like the signature murder chant. The murder, the murder box. That's the murder box. So, All right. I'm going to put the, the hot boy breath in there. You, you know got to put the hot boy murder breath in there. All right. 
This is already going really well. <laughs> How about with this? Uh, okay. So autocracy says, I want my sub to blow out my back windows when I bump this on my block. Well, First guess, of all. Hey, guess what? You, you, hey. you, you tuned into the right Twitch right we, now. We already did you do that. I blow speakers. All day, every day. Absolutely. No matter if I'm in the studio. Oh, this, we're, the talking, we're talking windows now. Now we're talking windows. Wait. No one deserves to blow out the window, blow out the back window. <laughs> now we're talking about some power. Hey. We, now you got to get into how, how weak your fucking system is. Your system got to be dope. And if your shit ain't bolted to the rest of your car, you need to figure out who's installing your system. Because you get into a wreck and your trunk opens, the shit gonna fly out. You don't want that. You want the shit in there until you need it to be gone. Get your, get your systems. Anytime you get a speaker box put in a car, just try to get it bolted to something. Don't just have it just all willy-nilly in the back of your fucking car. Nothing should be blowing out of anything. Also, don't want your car to catch on fire. But we're going to do something about this. So pretty much what, we loading up? what I've done so far is I'm just, I'm just saving it. I don't want it to crash. It's going to like save weird because there's so much stems. But, so pretty That's much. That's a lot happening right now. So far. I've added the Omnisphere. He played the chords. I like quantized it to like make it like more like, you know. Everything's got to be on beat. I added a, I added an arp. I added really, a arp. I don't really want to touch it right now, but yeah. So I added the arp. Yeah, don't fuck with it. And then I added <laughs> the Murder Sauce chant, the Murder Sauce hi hats. Okay. The open hi hat mm -hmm. and the clap. And now I'm about to add a kick, 808. Add some more like we need some more like musical shit in there, so like for the melodies and stuff. Add that. You know, it's pretty much like. You're watching a cooking show with T-Pain and Murder Beats, and like we're about to like cook up a crazy meal, and we're just telling you what we're gonna add in the bowl when we're cooking up. T -Pain he's head chef, though. I'll take can, that. I'll take that. Yeah, Thank you. When he's cooking up, he's I'm chef. just adding the the kick and the hi hats in there. You know what I'm saying? We just added a little flavor, the murder sauce. Put the, mur put the murder sauce in there. We just whipping that shit up. You know what I'm saying? I'm and gonna, I put this in the at 350. When he when he's whipping it up, I'm gonna take a sip of my Red Bull Remix. You know? And look at mm, mm, that shit mm, jumping. Mm, that shit, that. that shit jumping up the pot. Look at that. See how that hey, looks? That shit. See how that looks? That shit jumping up the pot right there. That's you know great. what I'm saying? We gonna put the great. pot. We gonna put the pot right back here. Throw that in the oven. 350. You got this. <laughs> Everybody say hello to Chef Murder, by the way. Chef Murder is is with us today, present in the house. Say hi. Cool. He that. can talk too. He's just kind of shy right now. He's so. shy right now. Shy right now. That's so. fine. That's fine. <laughs> All right. So Lady Ryan said. She needs something to throw it in a circle. You in the right house, baby. You in the right house, baby. Throw that thing in the circle. I promise you ain't met a real one like me. I love this song, man. One more shout out to Young Fire. Thank you for coming through the studio that hey, night. Because I wasn't doing shit. <laughs> Sitting in there watching cartoons. Thank you for coming through. That was pretty damn cool. Huh. Okay, now we laying kicks in there. Now, yeah. how do you, what do you feel like when you put kicks in? Like, as far as bounce wise, do you feel like, do you ever overdo it or underdo it? Yeah, there's like, see the the key the key to my, making my beats the key the key to my beats I feel like it's just like simplicity. Like simplicity is key. So okay. I try to I try to keep myself as simple as I can and not overthink when I'm making beats. Just try to like, you know, just do it simple and just like. Not overthink stuff. I feel like some people like overthink a lot of music, and then mm -hmm. it comes out, and you listen to it. It's like there's like a lot of like thought into it, and it's just like I don't know. It's just like overdone. Some people just like can't grasp that with their minds of today. It is. Society, it is. So. Please don't, I don't overthink. Know. I just like I just like I don't like to think about a lot of stuff. I go with the flow, so you know. Once it feels right, just leave it alone. Even <laughs> even just even just this for an example. Like I didn't I didn't see like my manager Corey, he had the song like i didn't even know he had the song but i don't want to like listen to the song 20 times and then come yeah, here and then you come and, and make the same beat <laughs> over you know you know what i'm saying but it's right. like overthink this like right right have this like over over like overthink a bunch of stuff to put on here i just want to come in listen to it vibe with you do it this is already done though can't lie about that Woo! So I'm gonna, um... We're doing good so far. If you're just tuning in, it's your boy T Pain. Goddamn Chef Murder over here cooking up in the kitchen. Murder Beats, uh, this is Red Bull Remix Lab Live. 
on, on Twitch for the Twitches. So thank y'all for coming through. Everybody throw some ones in the chat. I need my ones. I need my ones. Throw the ones up. Uh, if everybody's looking for the, the shot game portion of this, we, we're not doing that anymore. So apparently, apparently we got some emails. I'm gonna open another. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna open another Omnisphere. Okay. All right. Art. Right. Are y'all seeing this back here? Lit. They came through and destroyed my goddamn my whole my whole studio. My studio. Y'all seen my studio on on Instagram, but sorry to everybody that was used to how it looked before they came in here with with a fucking 300 person crew. <laughs> so. This big fucking truck's out of my yard. I had to move my drift car. You know how hard it is to subtly move a fucking drift car? <laughs> just move. No, we just need it 20 feet back. This car, when I, when I crank it up, it moves 20 feet. So just trying to move it a little. God damn it. Shout out to the drift world, by the way. Shout out to everybody in, in the drift nation. Thank you for everybody that's been supporting me through my drift journey. Uh, I'm just getting started. I am going to post a video of the first time I took her out and tried to do a little something. It's, it's not good. It's not good. But I did try. Underestimated the power a little bit. Kept spinning around a little, a little too far. A little too far. So, a little oversteer, a little, a little over acceleration. But hey, I'm going to get it and I thank y'all for your support. Boom! Uh, if anybody wondering what the fuck I'm talking about, I just bought a drift car because I'm getting into drift. I've been into drifting, but I just started like really taking it serious. She's about to go crazy. S14.5, if you want to know what that is, it's a, it's a 240SX. How about that? You know what that is. LS3 swap. Got my suit from K1 Race Gear. Um, got a helmet from, from uh, the store down the street that didn't give me a discount, so fuck you. I don't not, I'm not saying your name. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got suit, gloves, and shoes from K1 Race Gear. Um, getting a new steering wheel from a new company. I'll be uh, doing that soon. Uh, my homeboy Corey has been helping me out from AEG. It's a lot. This is, it's, we'll, we'll get into it on my Instagram and my, and my, and my live. You said do donuts in the front yard. I can't do donuts in the front yard. You know why? Because there's other expensive ass cars out there and I will not risk that. People's parking lots though, those are in fucking trouble. <laughs> That's, oh boy. Can I do donuts in your neighbor's front yard? You sure can. You should we, sure should can. we get that on camera guys? That's fine. That's fine. You'll do. You'll do fine over here. You're white. Let's go. You'll <laughs> <laughs> do fine. Not many places I can go. They see me driving that car. They're like, all right, something's wrong. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> like this black dude in a Japanese car. We know this. No, we're not doing this. Not today. <laughs> I should be on the next Fast and Furious. You know what? I was on Fast Six. I was in Fast Six, but I was a DJ. I was just a DJ. I think that really? was Fast 6 or Fast 7. That's awesome. Fast 7. I was a DJ at a, a party that was in Saudi Arabia. What was the last one? Fast 12? It has been, it's been 15 of them. So 15? I don't know. It's been a lot, though. Just, get, just stop, guys. I had, a song in the, <laughs> I, had a song, I had a song in the last one. Really? Yeah. I did like, Wait, a did song I with... Wait, did It was cool. I did a song with uh, Quavo, Lil Uzi, and Travis Scott. And that was on the soundtrack. They put me in the fucking movie and they give me a song on the soundtrack. Ain't that a bitch? Tyrese, you're supposed to hook me up, man. What is going on with you? Shout out to Tyrese, man. We got your R&B album right here, man. Shit. Shout out to Tyrese, but man, Pull that up. was a, yeah, we was right there. You got me in it, though. Vin Diesel, shout out to Vin Diesel. But what's, come on, guys, hook me up. Let me be in, in, in Fast 9. How many is it for real? Is it, is it nine of them now? I think last one was eight, right? Last one was eight. Good God. Eight, damn. There's got to be, there's got to be a record. <laughs> Trying to go to Final Fantasy Rock. God damn. Give it a second. All right, what we do? What we do? So we got another Omnisphere going? Yep. All right, cool. All right, so you, you picked another arc with it? Picked a new sound. I might change it, but like right now, just, you know. So sounds change all the time in the middle, right in the middle of production. Yeah, you know that. I do know that. They don't. <laughs> Alright though, for real. 
killing it. All right, so. How are you doing this? I'm just gonna skip over to. You're going um, so fast. <laughs> I'm gonna just put some Mellotron. What's the Mellotron? I actually don't know what this is. It's like some like, <laughs> it's like an old school, it's like an old school Mellotron. Oh, like a made, real one? Yeah. That oh, made, okay. Made, made I did, okay. Digitally. Yeah, you gotta come on, man. You gotta help me out with that. <laughs> I'm gonna add some flutes. I feel like I feel like Gucci's version go to the trap. Okay. You know, We're gonna like, go to the trap. Now, how do you? Okay. How do you how do you how do you proceed to take something to the trap? It's just the murder sauce, man. I don't know. Murder like, sauce, you know. everybody. Murder sauce alert. Do we have that graphic ready? I told you I was gonna say that. Nobody had the graphic ready. Ain't that a bitch? We're supposed to have graphics on this show, guys. The show delivers. You gotta have graphics, man. You gotta be ready for it. All right, so where's that, where's that murder sauce at? I'm trying to find... I hope it ain't it. secret, because you know everybody no, can see I got, I got, can um, see your screen. <laughs> I changed my computer. I was trying to see if I have my other little Bando VST. Bando VST. I want to uh, just take out a moment to appreciate Murder's Watch. Just so we can, you know, if we can get in there, can we? No, I'm just so we can... Shout out to all my jewelers, man. Shout out to all his, because there's multiple. Usually pick one guy. Waffy. So I got to set up Waffy one time, man. He's a great guy. Usually got to pick one guy and just stick with him. Nope. <laughs> I got a couple. Shout out to all of Murder Jewelers. I got to stay loyal to, like, my Canadian jewelers, too. You know, I'm Canadian. I'm not from Atlanta. Canadian thing. All, all the bitches back home when I go to the club, they used to think I was from Atlanta. They'd be like, oh, so you from Atlanta? That's no. a weird thing. That's a I'm weird from, thing. They didn't know where I'm from just because I came up with the Migos. You, you're about the most Canadian-looking person I've seen in, in a while. In trap music? And well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that is yeah, that's solid. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Super Canadian. Murder. How many tracks can you make in one day? Oh my um, goodness. Beats. <laughs> beats. I've made a hundred in one month, or like a week. Really? I made hundred in one week. Last year, first week, I made a hundred beats in one week. Are you serious? Yeah, Travis Scott booked me a studio for a week. He just had to. <laughs> I mean, had, to fucking, They're all had to fire deliver. Too. I can go back and play you half of them right now. Had the shit. Illuminati sitting in there with you, no, making sure you're protected. I'm joking. We, we don't <laughs> hey, shout out to them though. Shut <laughs> <up>. <laughs> Goodness, yo. So I think my record, uh, <laughs> right? Yeah, I wish it was. Um, wait, wait. So wait, let me get back. This shot the Illuminati for sure. <laughs> so, 100 beats in a week. Uh -huh. I can make like probably like 30 in a day. If I really did this with a Red Bull campaign going on, I could probably make like 50 beats in front of y'all. But that's up to them. But so, <laughs> songs in one day. Me and Party Next Door have made 17 songs in one session. Really? All fire. Man. I made the beats. I made the beats before he made the songs. I've done I've done some crazy shit with people like um, Quavo. Me and him, we've done like ten songs in a session. He beat my um, record. I had fourteen. Yeah, me and that was a crazy session. Though. It was crazy. I did fourteen in a day with uh, Boy Wonder. Yeah, Wonder's a beast. Fucking Boy Wonder, man. Wonder, shout out to Wonder. That's my dog, mentor. Shout out to Boy Wonder. Also, what up, gang signs again? I just, I just they're just random, man. I just I, it feels so nice. I see why actual gang members do that all the time. It's actually a nice feeling. It's therapeutic. It's therapeutic. <laughs> Damn. Shout out to gang members that actually know their fucking signs. I can do it on, on point. You know, you can do that real good. Tay K. Tay K, when he does, when he does his gang signs, it's like it hurt. His hands just. Can we just free Tay K? Just let him go. Just let him go. Just let him go. That's, I think that should be a petition. And he got like six, six million followers or something. Just figure that out. Figure out that situation. And shout out to Jay Graham for helping that man out while he in. Shout he out my dog Jay Graham, man. Man, good job. Good job for helping that man out while he while he locked up. Good job. I do like this one though. I didn't even know. Wait, which which FL is this? Why did I turn this up? I can turn it up. Got to split it different. There we go. There we go. What needs to be next? What needs to be next? Y'all pick what's in the beat next. 
Oh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't, haven't done the 808s yet. The 808s gotta be ready. 808s gotta get ready. I feel like for Gucci's, I feel like for Gucci's part, I gotta like go crazy trap with, I don't know. I feel like I should just switch up the whole beat. You do what you feel. This is about your process, so. Just random air horn. Just random air horn. Just right in the middle of it. They ain't always always big. They ain't always a big baby. Uh oh. What'd you get? What'd you get? I'm gonna uh, copy and, and paste in the kick pattern to the 808 channel. Oh, okay. And then how do you, well. I copied and pasted it to. You sure did. Okay, I'll just. I just, I, so like when I put in my 808s, I like put them to a higher octave so I can hear like what, you know what I'm saying? Like, Absolutely, you gotta hear, we gotta hear where Keita and yeah. <laughs> that would be. And then see, I got, I got my ghost channels in the piano roll Dumb. from what you played. So I know like if I'm off key or not. Ah, uh, I'll see what's going on here. Uh, speaking of which, producers that send me beats, if your 808 ain't on the same key that the rest of the music is on, don't send me that goddamn beat. Don't send me that fucking beat. I just can't. I just, that shit makes my ears bleed. Like, you just, I just cannot do that shit. The, the 808 is really important to me, and if the shit is just on some random key, while the whole rest of you, you got all these progressions and shit going on, and you just got this one, this one note, of 808 going through the whole shit. Don't don't send me that goddamn bitch. I just I just can't. It is it is just a lot. The beat needs some stacked vocal harmonies, <laughs> like booty T mix. We didn't even set up for that. Did we set up for that? We didn't set up for that, right? Thank God, Jesus Christ. We didn't set up for that. No, I think it does need that. <laughs> it might. It might. When when the... I think it does need that. Yeah, when the whole we remix... We're going to have to go to Pro Tools in this session. When the whole remix comes out. We're going to have to do it right now. Red Bull ain't set up for it. Uh, Red Bull ain't set up for it. do anything to get me to sing on this goddamn thing. <laughs> They'll do anything. That's, that's funny, though. That's good, though. They're ready, man. They got some good fans, man. I like your fans. They really do. It's a you lot. You got some now. good fans. It's an extra bracelet. That's fucking me up. I just it's got it. It's an extra bracelet. I just got that's it. The, that's the part. It's an extra bracelet that's fucking me up. Damn it! Somebody give me a bracelet! Buy me a bracelet! Huh? Give me one of my bracelets. <laughs> Get the one from Brittany. Tell Brittany to give me a bracelet. I feel like I need a bracelet now. I'm gonna put it on the same, same joint as my, as my, as my watch. It's fucked up. What's on your, okay, you got it. See, there's something else on his other wrist. It's fucked up. I feel naked now. I feel too comfortable. There we go. Woo, the boy's shining. This is the end of racism. <laughs> we just ended it. Right now. <laughs> get this, get this, this wide right here. Get this wide. See what trap music does? Racism. <laughs> End it right there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a good suggestion. Add some gross beat, half speed. Already did, man. Did we? He's 10 steps ahead, 25 steps ahead, 35. Oh, yeah, it's steps. already happening. Ahead uh, of you. Hey, bitch, it might be. Now you gotta explain what gross beat is. Okay, so the gross beat, <laughs> gross beat is a stock VST and Fruity Loops. Um, 
I put it right here. What's it do? He got... Half speed it. So that was the sound. Is that what that was? And I half speed it to that. Wait, it does that to anything? Oh my god, I thought it had to be audio. Yeah. Damn. Wait, what do you mean? I thought it had to be an audio. It's like whatever channel it's on. Like, put on it that just channel. does it anything. I just thought it had to be like an audio file to do that. I didn't know it would do it to any random PSC. Oh, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Son of a bitch. I bet you can. I bet you can. But guess what? <laughs> hey, We're having I... technical difficulty. Don't you fucking do that. I told y'all. <laughs> Give me this. Give me this. Total feel. If we get an extra dub each, we can make anything happen, We man. can make all oh, this no. shit happen. This is bullshit. Just oh, go ahead. And... <laughs> I felt naked. Man came here with all kinds of jury. Yeah, choices. It was weird. Fucking choices and shit. It was weird. Just gonna... <laughs> It was weird. Had choices. I saw him in there. He was in a room with a bunch of people. Like, nah, this necklace looks pretty cool. No. Nah, here you go. Here go the watch right here. No. What about the other watch? And then this watch. And I'm like, wait a minute. This is no. fucked up. He's lying. <laughs> How's it going? Are we back? You're back. Okay. We're going to fuck up some VR after this, too. It's going to be crazy. I can't wait. I feel like we should do music after this, but... My house is too fun. I, I, I fucked around and made my house Why don't we just have open the club? We just open the club. Oh, by the way, all the stuff uh, that I, <laughs> all the stuff I said I was putting on eBay, it's happening like next week. Like hey, for real. So everybody pull up to T-Pain's house in an hour. We're about to have a crazy party. We, yeah. I'm about to DJ it. The first half the of the party is going to be everybody helping take all it's the couches be, out of the fucking It's supposed to be lit. <laughs> but like, this shit, this shit's about to be crazy. So. <laughs> if y'all want to pull up. You know, <laughs> T-Pain's gonna make the drinks, bartend. I'm gonna be DJing. My wife will make the drinks. I'm gonna be the drunk one. I'm gonna be testing all of them. He gonna be drunk. You know, there's always that, you know there's always that one drunk guy in the club that be like annoying you and shit? It's, my, it's, yo, it's yeah. gonna be. It's always me. If y'all wanna get. If y'all want him to sing, just pull up to his house, man. If you don't wanna get punched in the fucking stomach in the middle of the club, <laughs> uh, don't let me drink as much. Or don't be around me when that, that last drink comes into contact with me. Cause it'll, it'll turn into something else. All right, sweet. What we got? Okay, so this is what I'm, this is what I'm gonna do. We're okay. gonna leave the original sound in the beat. Okay. Bold move, guy. Mm -hmm. How do we turn it on? Did we turn? Yeah. This is all clean in the truck, right? It's clean in the truck, guy. Yeah, great. Just making sure. Sometimes. We get a little noise going on in the studio, but you know, we make sure it gets to y'all pretty clean. Otherwise, suck a butt. We don't care. It's just not gonna happen. It's just what happens. So, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure this out. Should be fine. Mmm. Got my own monitor. Put a bottle right here. It's getting weak. It's getting weak. No, not a whole nother one. <laughs> I just need the bottle right here. <laughs> so I, what I did is I just transposed the key down. Okay. Because I taught myself how to play piano, and I only know how to play the black, the black keys and shit. Okay, that makes so. sense. That makes sense. Shout out to everyone at home that taught themselves. That's literally me. That's how I started. Yeah. <laughs> That's legit, yeah. Get in there. I don't want to trip you. That's the, that's the fucking, that's the pedal. I didn't even record that, I was just fucking around.
sure did. I'm gonna guess you just come up with these things on the fly, like your melodies are just. Yeah. I just recorded that. Lit. NFL. So how do you go with what feels right for the for the track? Because usually when I do shit like that, any kind of flute lines or lead synth lines, like I usually overdo shit. How do you how do you know when to just chill the fuck out and just do some simple shit? Um, or what keeps you from overdoing things? Just keeping shit simple, man. I don't know, just simplicity's key. That's what I'm saying, because I got we got different levels of of simple. Like your simple would be something like that. My simple, I did some chords in there a couple of times. Uh, one of my homeboys I play in the church every Sunday, his simple would just be, would, <laughs> it'd just be the main part of the beat at this point. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like, I feel like because he's he's in the church. And yeah, we're just, yeah. It's like just use this motherfucker grew two extra fingers. I don't know where these chords be coming from, man, but sometimes, man, just Balfour, Balfour, you remember Balfour? Balfour just whole hand across the. Whole keyboard. What are you? How are you doing this? Producer, I would want all of my shit to be heard all the time. How do you keep yourself from fucking just letting every track ride? Because I want to hear all that shit through the whole goddamn song. Now, filling the breakdowns and shit like that and taking out drums and shit, I feel that. Right but, now, I'm just like taking stuff out just like to hear it. But like, okay. usually, usually, what I would do is like, if I have like four melodies, I'll like have two playing at one part and mm -hmm. then like add like another one and then like, t like switch it out. Like take the main one out and use that fourth one. Just kind of like if I got give it more room melodies, to breathe and like bridges and stuff. If I got four melodies, I usually send it to my homeboy DJ Monte, salute Monte, and I'm just like, dude, you gotta arrange this because I want to hear all the shit That's dope. the whole time. That's dope. I wish I had someone like Monte. And, and I just, I'm just <laughs> like, I can't pick which one is gonna be the main shit. I can't pick that is. And if I do it, I'm gonna leave all the shit in at the same time, and it's gonna be confusing, and people ain't gonna be able to hear the artist because I don't really give a shit about the vocals at that point. <laughs> so, it's, it's pretty goddamn cool that you can pick that kind of shit. You like mixing your shit a lot? I mix my shit as I go. Like right now, like with like the volume knob, I'm literally just mixing as I go and usually how tracks end up and mm -hmm. come out, that's usually just like how I just mixed it on the fly. So your shit, you, you've had like final mixes? Yeah. Oh shit, yep. I'm bad at that too. A lot of stuff I, is just like two track. Like a lot of stuff. That flute would be loud as fuck right now if I play. <laughs> oh! I mix my own beats. I mix my own beats. Mix his own shit. Yeah. I didn't even read that before I asked you that. I gotta tell. I gotta. <laughs> I gotta tell. I gotta tell a lot of engineers like to like, watch like to watch out when they mix my beats because I feel like a lot of people be like messing up the mixes nowadays too and stuff. It's a different mix things. now. Yeah. It's a different mix. Uh, the mixes are still good. Yeah. But man, some of these mixes that be. Going through SoundCloud sometimes, man. It's not like y'all record this in the kitchen. That's usually, they're, <laughs> they're, they're usually recorded in the kitchen. They're usually recorded in the kitchen, but I want you to not sound like you're in a, in a fucking public bathroom sometimes. <laughs> but they, we usually, just keep that. they usually are. <laughs> I just can't, you gotta get out of there, man. But just get some egg crates or something. Just steal somebody egg Sometimes crates. you can't get out of there. You can't. You really, you <laughs> literally can. I've literally recorded under a bed to make sure there was no fucking reflection. That's pretty crazy. Under a goddamn bed. Put the mic in there. You can actually lift up the mattress, lift, lift up the mattress if you don't have a box spring. I didn't have a box spring back then, so it was just mattress and frame. So what you do is, you take the mic, you lift up the mattress a little bit, jam the mic in between the bed frame, and then lay on your back 
under the bed, get your shit out, recite your verse to the motherfucking microphone, and that's, that's your booth right there. Get creative. Or if you want it to sound weird, get in a fucking trash can. Get in a dumpster and just record that. Not saying that it's trash. I'm just saying the acoustics inside of a dumpster are actually pretty goddamn cool. Damn, that was fucked up. If I wanted to say it was trash, that would be a good way to say it. <laughs> record it in a dumpster. So I just I just sped it up two more BPM. I put it to 132. I'm okay. Gonna... This is on you, man. I'm, I'm, look, I'm, I'm right here with you, buddy. So like the 808 has a lot going on, so I'm gonna save that like for like the second half of the hook. Okay. Just one one little thing I change the whole goddamn. Man. I love this. Ah. Do you have a go-to 808? Or is it okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta have your go-to shit, man. I appreciate it, TV Jugger. Hey, I'm not the goat. I'm just one of them. I'm one of them. One of the goats. producers that still use snares. And I, I, I talked to Cardo last time we was doing this. It was Cardo. And Cardo said nobody uses snares anymore. And I'm like, I love fucking snare. I fucking love to have a snare on the track. But you're one of the few people that still actually use them. I, I, I love that I shit. think people still use snares. Just like, I feel like the clap epidemic is definitely going crazy right now. It is crazy right now. It's weird. But like, I don't know. I use claps a lot. Like, a lot. I use claps a lot, too. But when you want to, when you want to have a little more energy, I put a clap in certain, like, I put, like, I've, I've layered the snares under the claps and then added, like, a second snare to it. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Kind of sounds, kind of sounds hard without the 808. I mean, the, the hi-hat. Yeah, it kind of does. That open one sounds though. Definitely the open one in there. Maybe before that, I'm gonna I'm gonna start a channel with just the just the melodies. What was that? What did you just do? I just cut. I just what I did is I, I made a new pattern. Okay. So how I track, I don't I don't stem it out and then like take them out just like this. Really? I, I just like start a new pattern, delete everything off the pattern, and then so like what I did, I just did the, the melodies. So then I can just kind of hear it like. I have used uh, Manipulator. I use it, it's literally all over my next album. Uh, in fact, the Mushroom Manipulator is probably one of the best fucking, it's a pitch shifter on steroids. So, you know, vocal effects and things like that that makes your voice really high or low, it's one of those on fucking steroids. I have used Manipulator all over my new album. Uh, on the new song I'm dropping after this, Get Your Roll On, I use it all over that. Like. It's all over this fucking next album. It's crazy. So, I'm using it a lot. That's, it's fucking dope. I really like that plugin. I usually use Manipulator when I don't feel like waiting on a female artist to come and do some reference vocals for me. And I'll just use that. And that shit sounds more like a female than some females. It's weird. Uh, the song. Um, you know, I, I, I love women, obviously, but if you take too long, and I live really far from everything in Atlanta, so it's hard to get somebody to come over here to do a couple years and uh-huhs and shit. So I just do it myself, and I use manipulator, and then it's done, you know? 
Is it just me, but murder sounds like smoke perp? Uh, uh, Shit, man. Shout out my dog, man. That's my brother. Shout out that's to That's my perp. brother from another mother. Shout man, out to Perp man. and Pump and Wiz and oh, yeah. everybody else that's connected to that whole thing. Little Pump, happy belated birthday, man. <laughs> my dog. I miss you. Oh, man. This shit's turning out crazy. Like this a lot. This is the first. It's pretty cool that we're doing all this in front of y'all. Usually I try to keep this a secret and then put out the original, let that fade down, drop the remix, and then that's the first time y'all hear it. But now you're getting to see it be made. It's pretty cool. And uh, it's pretty cool. Kind of fucked up we didn't have this growing up, but you know, <laughs> technology, I guess. <laughs> That's a new one right there. What do you got there? What do you got for that? What do you got for what that? I'm, what I'm doing right now? No, 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 no. Not, not this. Oh. Outside of this. What do you um, got? What's the new project working on, up? Working on my album. What? Yeah. I what? didn't get the invitation. Working on my album. I said I'm working on it. I just met you. So I just met him. <laughs> and we're, we're about to do our own album, aren't we? Obviously. Obviously. Red Bull, you know what I'm saying? You guys are going to definitely have something to do with it, hopefully. Maybe not. But you know? Budget. budget. Yeah, the budget is shit. The budget's crazy the over there, Red Bull, boy. I'm going to sip some tea, right? The budget's over there is crazy at the Red Bulls. So, I'm working on my album, <clears throat> Keep God First 2, sequel to my mixtape that I dropped a couple years ago. Right. It's going to be crazy. Got a lot of people. I'm probably going to drop a single in the next couple weeks. God damn it. So, is it I Quavo? I don't know. Quavo I some, always get the first one. I got man. some crazy shit, man. Quavo get them first. You know singles, my dog boy. Quavo's on my album though. You know what I'm saying. You gotta shut, have shut it. Quavo be getting them first singles, boy. Like nobody's business. Go ahead. I'm working on. I'm, I'm working on Quavo's album or Quavo's music. So we got we got some more stuff dropping. We just dropped the Working Me single. We got another single dropping with a special somebody. Uh oh. Uh, to, everyone's gonna hear that. Who shit. Who else you been producing for lately? Fucking everybody. No, nah, you know. Is it easier to ask you who haven't you produced for? My more? favorite rappers. Solid. I, I like to work with people I'm a fan of. Cause that's just like, you know? Solid answer. It's just like, then it's like, I like the music. I don't want to work with people I don't listen to because then I'm not going to listen to the music. You know? Solid answer. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be the ones with the buckets, dog. <laughs> the ones you don't listen to. Oh my goodness. Hey, sometimes I make music with people who don't have budgets just because I like their music. You know what I mean? Yep. So. Absolutely. And then, then they make millions. God damn it. <laughs> you gotta post date this motherfucking check, son. Post date it. Lord Riku. Is that it? Riku? Riku? It looks Riku? like it. Unless it's Japanese. Thanks, Murder should work with Young Dolph. Tell Young Dolph to hit me up, man. Shout out to Dolph. I don't know what gang he's in. I don't know. That was one of them. Man, this is so dope. So what is this? Is this like, is this the hook too? Yeah, that's the yeah. This is hook too? So yeah. wait, what is this? Is this pre-hook? This is all, this is all no, this one. So look at intro, pre-hook, hook, hook. So wait, yeah. so, so this is Yeah, that's still, yeah, that's still hook. This, this isn't hook? That's hook right there. That's hook too? Yeah. So the it's, whole it's a 12 bar hook? Yeah, it's a 12 bar hook. So then the verse That's is, called cheating. Uh, you know. <laughs> so this that's is the, the verse. That's the verse, yeah. So what is it, 8 bar verse, 12 bar hook? Yes. <laughs> you know what taught me that? Mark Pitts. Mark Pitts taught me that. He said if, if your whole song is a hook, somebody's gonna like one of them. <laughs> you gotta, you just gotta just how make the whole you, how song. How long have you been doing hook. that? Um, man, when did I work with Usher? 2009, eight or nine? So pretty much just make just make a whole make a song just full of hooks. Somebody's gonna like one of them. That's fire. I like, <laughs> I like I like that shit. <laughs> so just, just do it. What, what if they like all of them? 
If they like all of them, that's what a smash is. That means they can remember every part of the song. There you go, kids at home. There you go, go kids at home. Smash it. <laughs> okay. So we're, we're, we're getting... I'm tracking it out, you know, I'm trying to you're do doing, You're doing a really good job. I'm trying to do my thing over here. I'm going uh, really like four bars for four bars. You're killing it. You're killing it. I like it. Um, so now, going into the verse. I kind of want to do a little breakdown. You got to do a little breakdown. You know? Everything needs a little breakdown. I could, I could just, like, keep it how he, we had it, but I don't think that's going to go, so... New go. pattern, huh? Yep. So I'm going to I'm gonna break it down completely. I'm, I'm thinking about, like, doing a little... A little bando feel. We're okay. In, we're in Atlanta, so. Got to do that. I might save the flute for Gucci's part. Put that pussy on me. She gon' get some more hoes. She gon' get that money from me. Uh, shit hard. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. This shit is hard. I appreciate it, man. Shit. I appreciate it. Take all my money from me. That's just on fire. Come put that pussy now on. we're gonna go to the next part. I don't know if it's a hook or a verse or a verse hook or a hook verse. It's still, it's still, it's still a verse right now. We just, we just gonna do it with, with people, man. T Pain, we'll you changed the game, man. I love this man. I do what I can. Nah, he's. I do what I can. He said it. No, no, he said it. <laughs> They don't know anybody else said that. He said that. <laughs> you did though. I love this man. I, I, I do. I do it again. I do it again. But uh, thank you to us, Gene. Appreciate it. John? Gene. John. John. Which one was Wyclef? Gene. <laughs> Is it John? Gene John. Gene? Gene John. They erased the comment. Couldn't see it. But thank you, Twitch John. Gene. Gene John. Wyclef. <laughs> <laughs> was, oh was, man! That, that was funny. I like that. We will make this happen. I'll take the flutes for the next four. You like that flute right there? That's right. Like that part? Is that part? Yeah. So what I keep Ooh. doing is I got I got two 808 patterns and I keep switching them back and forth because like I have like one 808 doing like kind of a, like a little bit, right. not a lot, but like more than the other ones. It's more simple, so I just be switching it back and forth because I don't want like I don't want the whole song to be too simple and I don't want the whole song to be like too crazy, right? Figure so, this out, buddy. You got it, you got it. I'm doing something else. Um. You figure this out, buddy? <laughs> this is happening. This is doing So this is back to the pre, kind of? I did it. Yes. This is the pre though, right? Yeah, but much. I think the flute should go there again. I think I did it, did I do it? I don't have a mirror. They don't give us mirrors. They never give us mirrors. I don't know what the fuck this looks like, is it? Yeah. Your cake and your 808, like together. Okay, so, okay, one of the things when I start, when I first started making beats, mm -hmm. like my 808, my 808s and my kicks, like my kick would always drown the mix, and I never understood what was going on, mm -hmm. and it was like, it was like, it just like would frustrate me. I didn't think I would be able to mix beats. I didn't know what was right, going on. Right, right. And then like one day, it just like wasn't doing it. 
I don't know. I think God just blessed me. <laughs> it just wasn't doing it. Just all of a sudden. I'm dead serious. Because, like, right, because now. I, that's still one thing about my whole music career that I never understood. Just started not doing it. It literally just like, Did God bless me. Did you start using me. a new kick? I, probably. Okay. Because <laughs> now, because right Cause now, I was the, bad, the, like, the adult mix is like, like no attack at all from from 808 or anything. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like it might have it might have been like maybe like a op option in FL or like maybe like the Fruity Limiter or like something like that. But like it was fucked up. Somebody told me not to use that. Is that? I use it. Okay. Look all at, right. Look at this is my master channel right Just here. Stop listening to people. <laughs> oh wait, no, I don't. I don't use it. Okay. This is my this is my this is my master channel. You know, I got all my crazy, nothing. Crazy a bunch of whole nothing. Nothing. All right. Don't put anything on your master. Case. That's a million dollar master. If y'all want to send, if y'all want to send five hundred thousand to my PayPal, let I'll me you know. Just go ahead and run that real quick. I've been wanting to uh, put out my put out my cash app. Just have it. Just tell everybody, all my followers, just send me a dollar. I like that. Just send me a dollar. I think everybody can spare a dollar on cash app. I'd at least have a million dollars by the end of the day. I feel like that's a great idea. You know, I think it might Soldier not be tried to do that once. I don't think it worked. But it seemed like a good idea. Execution is what, is what the problem is. Oh, he, didn't, he didn't let him read that. Come on, y'all gotta let us read these, man. Come on, you Red Bull. You gotta put the last one back. Where do, where do you get your 808s? I get them from a couple people of mine. Yeah. I stole mine from T-minus. Oh, wow. I That's took great. all my 808 from T-minus. Not that I, you know, listened to it, and I sampled them. I literally was in the studio, and I just took them. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> he, 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 he robbed T-minus. Shout out to T-minus, a fellow Shout Canadian. Shout out to T-minus. He's a legend. Canadian. A legend. Yeah. I, it, was, uh, it was a late night. He wasn't paying attention. I took all his 808s. I got them now. He doesn't need them. I used to do that to the Migos <laughs> at night when they weren't paying attention. I used to steal their songs off their computer. This is, this, is the, this, is the, this is like an exclusive too. Like, Red Bull. You get this. they probably beat me up after they hear this shit. But yeah, <laughs> shout out to them. Please don't get beat up by the Migos. <laughs> Those niggas do not fight by themselves, boy. You gotta get in there. You gotta be ready. <laughs> That's it. I learned so much from videos of murder. He got the sauce. Thank you. This person's Canadian because they said Death Row Beats. Says sorry at the end. <laughs> Canadian. <laughs> I think that was Red Bull because they deleted it. No. Oh. The Red Bull Canadian man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You trying to you can't you can't look, come man. on man, you can't look man. man. Me and uh me and boy Wanda been going through this shit for about ten years now. <laughs> Sorry. This is America this is America, America versus Canada shit. Me and boy Wanda been going through it. I'm telling you. <laughs> well thanks. Thanks for being sorry. Yeah, me and boy wanna been trying to figure out whose bacon is better, and obviously y'all shit is just overcooked ham. And I think it is it ham. It's gotta be whatever that round rubber shit I think, is. I think I, I think that shit is ham. I don't know why they call that shit bacon. <laughs> That's just fucking. Did I just find out on Red Bull and T Pain's basement in fucking Atlanta that Canadian bacon is ham? It's gotta be ham. That's all it can be. Corey, <laughs> Corey, Corey, come help us with this. Corey and them fucking shooting the shit out of something on VR. Is it actually Canadian ham? Corey, is Corey it Canadian? Can Corey, you Canadian? Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys, I'm Corey. Yo, so we just, come on, Corey, come here. Come here. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Corey. What is it? Corey. No, see, no not in my face. <laughs> Corey. All right, so we just had, I think we just found something out. Is you just found something out. Is I Canadian knew bacon terrible. Canadian ham? Canadian bacon is ham, right? It's like overcooked ham. It's, it's a little different. It's, it, it's actually called pea meal bacon. The rest of the world calls it pea meal oh, bacon. Oh, yeah, it is pea meal bacon. It's what ham. is pea meal? I don't know. It's still from, I heard my mom say it. It's still from the pig's butt, but it's like it's cut differently. See, that's why I don't eat that shit, man. Thanks, guys. What the fuck did I just learn? Man. <laughs> what the fuck was that? What? <laughs> you been eating ass this whole time? <laughs> <laughs> Canadians, get it, come on, man. No, nah, I don't eat ass. I heard, I heard eating ass stunts your growth. It, well, that's why I'm shorter than you, then. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, he got really short. No. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, boy. Good job, Canada. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Woo!
Where are you most creative? The more you know. Um, I'm, I'm, oh, I used shit. to be very creative at home, and then, and then I got used to making beats in front of people. So then I got used to like just being in like studios oh, and just goodness. like around people in environments of people. And then I got like really creative around people. Like even like today, like I don't know. Sometimes I like making beats in front of people because I like showing off. And then. That's the that's the, that's why I make my best beats, trying to show off of people. And then sometimes. I just like, if I really want to focus, I need to just be like alone or like with a couple of people and just bang shit out. It's really just about like how you feel. Is it me or murder? Chain gang. Put this man in the chain gang. There you go. It's still kind of, I'm not touching it. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I think I'm most comfortable on, on the toilet. It's probably where. You recorded? Yeah, on the phone. A lot of, a you, can, you can do a lot of shit on the phone you now. You recorded taking a shit? Absolutely. I did a lot of my, four, like right after my fourth album, when I started doing a bunch of T-mixes and shit, a lot of that was on phones and iPads. Cause I just didn't have the energy to go to a studio. And this one was still shit. All right. <laughs> Can we hear different parts of the beat so far? We'll do that in two minutes. He's still, I'm, he's still, I'm he's like, always so close. I mean, so close to I'm finishing. Like in the shits like right now, you know? Okay, we're almost done though, we're almost done. Cause you only Hell got yeah. Gucci's verse, and then one more of these weird ass hooks. Hell yeah, you already know. Here we go. Let's Almost get done. it. It's gonna be cool to change. What do we still need to add? I don't think anything needs to be added. It's more of things being arranged at this yeah, point. Yeah, right now I'm just arranging. Yeah, shit. I think if we start adding more shit, it's just gonna turn into a clusterfuck of sounds. So. Murder, do, you any, Murder, do you have any advice on finding artists to work with and starting out trying to market your music? <laughs> um. So it's a four-part question. <laughs> okay, wait. Yeah, I'm not gonna read it. I can't read. Um. You sure can, you just did that whole thing, so you got any advice on finding artists to work with? Like for who though? Like yeah, for I don't know, that's kind of like... Like as a producer? That would be... Okay. Let me just answer this how I... Okay, do answer you have how you did, any somebody advice will get an answer. on finding artists to work with? That's a crazy... I don't know how... Maybe, to... maybe they're saying like, how did you... How are you getting the opportunities to work with Drake and Migos and all these different artists and you shit gotta, like that? You gotta network, build your name, build your build your brand, mm. and then just be confident in your brand and be able to reach big artists and just be out there networking and getting around. I don't know. And how do you market your beat? Like, how do you put your beats out there to where like? I put my beats on YouTube. I put my beats on YouTube. Did tight beats? You make tight beats? Hell yeah, they're God still damn on YouTube. It. Motherfucker. I, I still have my <laughs> YouTube because I want to show people the, the like. That come up from like me producing for six years of like where I came in five six years of, of a span, so I left Man. my beats up on the internet. My have, you, have you ever sent type beats, but like to the artist that it was the type of? So when I first started making, yeah, Chief Keef like in 2012. You would send Chief Keef a Chief Keef type beat, right? Yeah. No, everybody that sends me a type beat never sends me a T Pain type beat. I connected with Amigos by sending <laughs> them like Atlanta type beats, like. That's fine. When you do that. I get that, but don't send me a Kanye West type beat. Just it's not gonna say just, type beat though. Yeah, no, it still says when they send it to me. No, I don't do that shit. <laughs> some fucking no, shit. but like one of, one of the main things I want to do is there was a guy in Atlanta. Some of you might know him, Slim Duncan, R.I.P. So he was like Brick Squad, Monopoly, yeah. and I really wanted to work with him. So I was making Slim Duncan type beats, putting them on YouTube, hitting them up on Facebook, trying to get them to him, and you know, so that's it's where. Got to take off the type beat. Yeah, no, I never saved this. That was just for YouTube. That's to yeah. get likes. To, that was like to get views on my beats. Motherfuckers that, just really send that's me a way, links if, to the YouTube. Look it, if I, if I dropped a T-Pain type beat, when you type in T-Pain's name and you're going through the page on YouTube, your beat's going to pop it's up. It's going to come up. So you're going to get extra views and it's going to it's gonna draw traction to your page and to you. To you. And that's how I built my brand right. off of T-Pain. So stop sending me links to the YouTube mm -hmm. that you've made of a Kanye type beat. Cause no, <laughs> that's hilarious. Do you have any artists? I got an artist, uh, Murder Gang Gino, little Gino in Chicago. He's super fire. Um, 
Yeah, oh, he's in Chicago. Let me stop yeah. doing that. Yeah, we're both to drop. Right. We're, both, we're both to drop real soon. He's super fire. He's gonna take the game by surprise. You know what I'm saying? Boom! He's, he's, he's a threat. Reveal. He's a threat. <laughs> what is that? The Red Bull remix? What is that? That is not the Red Bull remix. What is that? My wife made this. Mmm. Ah. Oh. It's called a butterscotch. My wife makes it. It's pretty cool. Now you're gonna want one. Wait, can I get one? Yeah, see. <laughs> Absolutely. Amber! She's not down there. She's the only one that can make it too. Or you just want that one and I'll wait on one? That's yours. That's yours. Amber! My wife, I don't know how to I don't know how to find her right now. <sighs> what is in this? I don't think I can tell you. <laughs> it's an Alabama secret. It's a new Alabama. Don't, stop drinking that so fast. It's not. It tastes good. It's gonna just gonna fuck you up. <laughs> All right. Finish this. Let me text my wife. I'm gonna text my wife to give me mine. Let's see. Can I take a break? I want to just like. No, down. no, we live. There's no breaks. There's no, fuck it. We'll do it live. <laughs> Wait, let me just, I'm just gonna, okay. Is there Red Bull in here? Yes, no, yes. Yes? How much do I get paid for if I say yes? <laughs> this is pretty good. This is about the least productive we've been on this whole show for the entire running. Not even this episode, just all of them. <laughs> you enjoy it. I wouldn't, I wish we had like some time after this, like they shot us after this shit and y'all can see how he's acting after this, cause he's drinking that really fast. And I don't think it's it, because it tastes really good. I don't think he knows. Am I getting drunk? Oh, yeah, I'm sure. You know, once that mouth start getting numb and just <laughs> perception start changing. Wait, what's in here? If my mouth's going to get numb. I can't. Well, that's just alcohol that does that. Oh. That's. Yeah. Oh. It's uh oh. Wait, what happened? Corey, what happened? <laughs> that's just alcohol. There's nothing else. That's Y'all yeah. eat chicken wings? Do we want some chicken wings? Are they Red Bull chicken wings? I can't, like... Can we take a break? No, We can't. <laughs> There's no way to do this. T-Pain and Murder, who's your greatest inspiration and why? I'll let T-Pain, the legend, the GOAT of oh, all time, go on. first. Oh, come on. Come on. You talk about you every day. No, T-Pain, the legend, you can go first, man. Well, thank Answer you. question for the fans, man. Oh, thank you. Um, Shout out to T-Pain, by the way. I'm in his crib, drinking his butterscotch little <laughs> mix, making this fucking beat right now at Red Bull. Shout out to Red Bull, man. I think my, uh, hey. my greatest inspiration is CeeLo, CeeLo Green. Because he don't give a shit about none of you motherfuckers. Now, <laughs> now CeeLo don't give a shit about what anybody says about him. If he feels like he need to be dressed like a peacock for the night, then that's what he's doing. Um, if he feels like his music needs to be a certain weight, and that's what he's doing. He's not making <laughs> music for anybody uh, but himself. He, he takes the, the uh, uh, it's a mix between CeeLo Green and Quentin Tarantino, and I mix those because Quentin Tarantino always says, uh, I don't make movies for anybody. I make movies for myself and hope to God there's somebody else out there as crazy as me. And I think that's the approach I take at all my shit all the time. I never try to really conform to anything. Uh, murder doesn't do that, obviously. Like, he does his shit because he loves to do it, and hopefully there's somebody out there that likes the music that he likes. I, I do the same thing. CeeLo does it. Quentin Tarantino does it. So it's a mix for my, my inspirations are CeeLo Green and Quentin Tarantino. I don't know mine. Okay. Um, I, think, <laughs> I think my inspiration is my dad, R.P. my pops. He's Litty. a crazy guitar player. And God. I like God. I love him. Number one, baby. That was my best Shaq, by the way. Let's chat back in on the beat. Coming to close our end. Shout out to Rebel, wanna, by the way. I just want to thank God. Uh, played a good game. <laughs> I can't do Shaq. That was my best Shaq. I can't do Shaq at all. <laughs> Somebody tell my wife to bring me a drink. I'm drunk. No, I'm just... I don't think you are yet. <laughs> it's coming, though. I'm joking. So right now I'm trying to figure out like what melody sound that I want to use with the flute because now I'm bringing in the flute because it's Gucci's part. God damn it. Yeah, come on, bring it over now. What's in that? But that don't say that's what you don't you tell them what's in that. Mm. Oh. 
He's hammered. Oh, shit. She built it up too much. <laughs> OK. Yeah. Y'all have seen me hammered. I'm definitely not. <laughs> I'm drunk as fuck. No, I'm drunk. That might, that might help. It's the ice. The shape of the ice. Yeah. That's just on fire. Yeah, I love that. I love this for real. You can right, you can bring that snare in at this point. No, I got you. Drop that snare on there on that second half of Gucci verse. You gotta bring up the energy on the second half. You want the whole thing to sound the same. Hell uh, no. Nah. You know. I might do a video for this. I gotta be in the video. Can I you be in the video? You obviously gotta be in the video. Is Red Bull paying the budget? They might. Shout out to Red Bull. I feel like I should. Look at shit. Y'all gotta, <laughs> hey, Red Bull's gotta pay for my cameo too. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> And then you can do the same thing for the hooks that you did before that. Oh yeah, we still had that. Yeah, you know, I had to add like the secondary flute. How do you make the... What? That process, that thing you just did. What'd you just do? It was another view in the... In the on, the other, on the other screen. On the other screen, you were just at it. That thing... When you when you selected those things. Okay, so I select the ones that I want. Okay. And I control X. It cuts oh them. my God! I didn't see you hit any buttons. I just thought you hit. Okay. We're, okay. You thought I was like it was a magic. Uh, it is kind of like magic. <laughs> you guys know I'm not dancing. <laughs> you you know dance. that for sure. Hey, he'll dance when the, song, the beat's done. It's I wore my tight done. shirt today. I can't really I can't usually dance in my tight shirt. He's gonna dance. If I had a looser shirt, if I had like on my chingy shirt or some shit, then I'd be able to. Your chingy? Remember how chingy used to dress? Yeah, Everything yeah. was real big and shit. Or any of anybody yeah. from St. Louis at that point. You got your chingy shirt? I do have a big jersey. I got actually got a big ICP jersey upstairs that'll that'll work out. It's a hockey jersey. I can dance in that one. That way you won't see my titties flying all over the place. And uh, <laughs> Sacred. Shout out to the titties, man. Shout out to everybody with man boobs and owning it. I'm getting some. Right now. They're coming in nicely. Thank you. You're coming in nicely. Really? You're maturing. I'm getting fat. You turn into a woman. Shit. <laughs> this is kind of different. I'll throw some kids in there. <laughs> I thought this Red Bull shit was going to be a lot different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right, so. We've all had fun. The beat here. is done. The beat now, is done. I'm going to play all the patterns. There we go. All right, so. Give me the, give me the pattern. This is just like. Part of Gucci. This is like part of the end of Gucci's verse. Okay. It sounds pretty far, right? All yeah, right. Not bad. Okay, this is the beginning of his verse. Woo! That's just hard, though. Mm. And then. There's this part. Which one is that? I added the. Uh, Okay. Yeah. And there's pattern six. I'm trying to find it. There it is. That shit's really dope. Pattern seven. Different styles, different different feelings, different vibes to every pattern. Yeah. And it, the way the way murder switches it up. What else are you gonna do? Man, it's it's kinda it's kinda refreshing. Cause there's a lot of eight bar loops that just don't change these days. And but I, like I feel like sometimes like <clears throat> some songs they they're just so simple and so fire that if you add some shit to it, it's gonna fuck it's it up. It's so simple and fire, but no, oh no, it's never it's never about adding but at least switch up and change something because the ones that are the simplest and the most fire, they're usually the eight minute songs. And <laughs> just give me something. 
Give me something that's gonna switch up like, a little bit. For example, the butterfly effect beat mm -hmm. is literally like a loop. I literally like did the drums, out, 808, no, out, out the drums. Drum, it's just like, and it's the same melody throughout the whole song. It's just like, and it's just like, I just made See, it super hard. fast. See, that's hard, because. I just made it super fast, and like, we just made the song so fast, I sent it to Travis, FaceTimed him. He was making it on FaceTime, we dropped right. it, and it just like blew up on SoundCloud. That's hard because you got Travis there, and Travis, yeah, his vocals, of, right? Oh my God, Travis can fucking make everything sound different, and he got so many different uh, uh, deliveries and voices, and and he'll he'll change some shit up. It's all about that too, because my shit didn't change for a long time. I would always have my eight bar loops and shit going like that, what? and what would happen was I didn't notice that my eight bar loops were eight bar loops because I would always have different ideas for different parts and my vocals made the parts different. And I had different approaches to come at things and then I was I went in for my first time with a different writer that was supposed to be writing some shit to my beats for another artist and she was like, your beats don't do nothing. And I was like, what do you mean? She was like, when the hook come, like they don't, like nothing happens. Like you can't tell when the hook comes. I'm like, well, your voice is supposed to do that. She's like, no, not usually. And I'm like, really? That's that's how songs work? I thought she was supposed to thought the artist was supposed to put in most of the effort. She's like, no, it's a it's a collaboration between the artist and the producer. And I didn't know that because up, up to that point I had only been producing for myself. So you Who's know. That? Who was that? Um God damn it, what was her name? She so Stacy. Stacy. Shout out Stacy. Shout out to Stacy. Writer in LA. She's a dope fucking writer. She writes for a lot of people. But that day she taught me to fucking try to make my beats a little, you know, multi dimensional for other artists. Just because I can change shit and make the writing different on different parts doesn't mean everybody can do that. So, you know, give a little dynamic to my production. Y'all brought gnats in here. What? Y'all bring gnats in my house? What is going on? What is up with you guys today? She does not like this in LA. Um, my my <laughs> go-to BPM is one, one thirty, one thirty-four. One thirty-four? To no, nah, I'm gonna give y'all like a a range because it's like. But it starts at one thirty-four. One thirty-six. You're a maniac. Why? I've uh, like people that can make beats with tempo that don't end in zero or five. Are maniacs to me. <laughs> you know, you know, I put, you know, I put my beats on like odd tempos. Like I'll put it, like everyone put it 148 or 150. I'll put it 149, yeah. just to fuck up everything that the engineer has to do. <laughs> no, nah, but it's just like I just want to be different. Like I don't know. You're doing it. I be doing You're like doing it. 147, 144, 143, you put, you put, 140, you put your shit point something. Do you ever do nah. like nah. 149? Nah, I do my shit double time. So like, like how he said they sent me the stems. It said 62.5. So you know what I'm saying, you double the time, and it's 125, and I put it up to 130, and then I ended at 132. It's like, ma I'm not good at math either, it's just like, I know how to count money and stack BPMs, so. One of those you gotta be good at math for. <laughs> so, this is the beat. <laughs> one, just one of those requires a little bit of. You killing the fuck out of this. And by the way, Murder got a dope ass team. So regardless if he can do all the shit he's saying he can't do, he got a dope ass team around him, trust me. So shout out to everybody on the team, man, that came through and shit. Uh, the Murder Gang, man. The Murder Gang, by the way. So it's not nice. You know what's funny? Gotta tell you a funny story. Um, I used one of your beats before I met you. It was supposed to be on my Revolver album. I have the song. You have the song. And you want to play it right now? But we should. I think we should. My wife was with me while I was making the song, and she thought your tag said, Murder on the Beach. <laughs> A lot of people think it says Murder Beach. <laughs> I'm not from the so, Carolinas. My wife was like, why, why, why is there murder on the beach? What's going on with that? And I had to explain the producer thing and tag and all that stuff. And just for just just for shits and giggles, now we don't we don't say beat anymore. We every time we hear your tag, we just say murder on the beach. And it's not nice.
It's not nice to murder on the beach. I'm too white to so... be on the beach. <laughs> I'm too white to be on the beach. I don't tan. Well, that's not nice in itself. It's not nice, man. That's not nice. When you want to tan? You don't want to tan? Canadians don't tan well? I let other people tan, man. How much sun do y'all get? How much sun does Canada listen, get? You can't, you, you know what I'm saying? I let other people tan. I don't want to give away the I tan. Feel like you gotta, I feel like you got to just try it once. I feel like you'll get some. I burn. Do you? Yeah. I feel like if you time it right, you'll get some real dope freckles or something, at the very least. I'm white as shit, man. There you are. Yeah, you're pretty white. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't like Scottish white. Like, Scottish white is on a. I'm white as shit. I don't know if you've seen white before. Like, you get, you get Scottish. That shit gets real pale. <laughs> You gotta answer that. That's yours. That's yours for sure. Mm. One artist who I want to work with? Um, Justin Bieber, Beyonce, Rihanna, T Pain. These are people you haven't worked with? Yeah. We gotta scratch mine off now. This I is still want to like. Yeah, but this is like you know. And then all upcoming people. I want to work with upcoming artists because as a producer or a songwriter. When you break an artist, that's when you really become, build your legacy. I want to break. I want to break artists and break break artists. Right. I've been a part of breaking artists, and I've been help. I've been a part of helping people's legacies and get further on their Continue, career. Continue, yeah. I want to like break artists. I want to like Timbaland. These guys are broken artists. Woo. Shout out to Timbaland. Scott Storrs, Dr. Timbo Dre, to God. Chris Beats. They've all broken artists. That's what I'm trying to do. Really? Andre 3000. That's it. Andre 3000 and Carrie Underwood. The only people I want to work with now. I'll take that. I'll take both of those. Probably at the same time. That's starting to sound sexual. Let's move on to what we're doing here. <laughs> oh boy. There you go. He's dancing. He's hey, dancing. Hey. I, I can't. I can't do more. That's all. That's all. I'm kind of tethered to the ground right now. So. Me too. <laughs> yeah. This is all coming out of my pants right now. <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do about this? this is, uh, there's nothing I can do. Look at this. This is in my pants right now. No, I can't. You want me to dance at all? This, this is it. This far as I can go right here. Well, maybe this. Can't do nothing. I'm fucking tethered right now. You throwing up some crazy shit. You know. <laughs> shit. So I think we've done a lot here today. We've made the official remix. Hey, wait, we gonna, we gonna play the chopped and screwed version real quick. We will play the chopped and screwed version. Fuck that thing right there real quick. Uh, <laughs> this isn't the final track, so murder don't answer that. The chopped and screwed version. It is. For, for that. But we, screwed, uh, we'll chop it later. This is real, this is. <sighs> It's kind of chopped. That'll do it. What do, what do you think? What do you think of the check, man? How do you, how do you think it came out? Can I put it on my album? I'd like it to be on mine. Um, <laughs> we can do it. We can do a trick daddy JT money thing and just hey. we can split it. We can split the profits. How about put it on both? You put this on your album, and we're gonna make a new one right now for mine. We can do a VP. We can do a Fifi and, and then just put it on both. Let's do both. Hey, Fifi. For this one. Fifi's great. Fifi's amazing. I like that song. Fifi is you, amazing. I like that song. Who produced that? Corey, did you produce that? Oh, me? Wait, oh. Corey, you produced Fifi? Corey produced Fifi. Wait, who produced that for real? Did you produce Fifi? I'm featured on the song. I'm in the video. I'm a white kid in the back. In the video? I'm the shooter in the video. Gotta get a haircut, man. Alright. <laughs> what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? 
hit them things so many times, it's gonna disconnect from my Wi-Fi. I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> so, anyways, if you if you, if you're just tuning in, I'm sorry, cause it's too late. Uh, this was Red Bull Remix Lab Live with T Pain, your host, and my homeboy Murder Beat. Yeah, you know, that's my first time. It was great. It was fun. I feel like we can do a part two. I feel like we can do it. I feel like we should make a song from scratch. No shade on the rest of the artists that have done this and, and, and the producers, but this has been a fun one. It's been pretty fun. Cardo was funny. Cardo, was, Cardo, that's my dog. Man. Cardo, uh, uh, Giuliani was there. Uh, 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 Young Exclusive was there. That was pretty cool. All the, all the homies have been there, but it's been pretty fun. I think this is more fun for me because I'm in my house and I know I can go right to sleep after this. You want to sleep? So that's pretty cool. Wait, what time is it? It's almost six. My watch isn't set to the time. What? You gotta set it. Mine says. You gotta set it when you <laughs> quarter, quarter twelve. That's what time it is in uh, Canada. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why is it Canadian? That's what it's called. All right, man. That's why you're Canadian. It's been a pleasure. From Canada. It's been a pleasure, Young Murder, checking out with my butterscotch drink. You know what I'm saying? I can't even walk out there because I'm still stressed on the ground. You're stressed through the ground. You <laughs> but, yeah. like you've been on the butterscotch this whole time. I'm drunk as shit. That's safe. That's safe. You can't go anywhere. <laughs> I know. Look, I appreciate everybody for coming through. I'm your boy T-Pain, your host. My homeboy Murder Beats. Young Murder, Fucking Chef Murder. Killed it. Homeboy Murder. You know Make sure y'all check out had, the new track, Might Had be. to lay down the murder game, you know what I'm saying? The murder game is strong with this one. You know what I'm saying? This is, <laughs> the sauce this is, is strong nice. with this one. I like this. I'm, I'm pretty confident. I appreciate it, man. Can we go to like, can we go to like a strip club play this shit right now? We should, though. You want right now? We really should. What time is it? Six. Don't start, though. We'll go when they start serving the lobster in there. Listen, uh, this has been Red Bull Remix Lab Live. I uh, appreciate you guys for coming through all the Twitches, uh, Vape Nation, Drip Nation, everybody that's that fuck with your boy Pizzle. I'm gonna stream soon on my Twitch. Uh, shameless plug, don't care. Not paying me nothing to, to not say this. So um, make sure you come check out my Twitch channel. Uh, I'll give you three guesses on what it is. T Pain. That's it. That's all it is. T Pain on everything. Make sure you follow me. Uh, Facebook, T Pain. Uh, Instagram, T Pain. Twitter, T Pain. Backpage, T-Pain, Craigslist, Casual Encounters, T-Pain. Uh, just make sure you just hit me up on everything, okay? You, you can gotta, follow me. Right. Murder Beats, Instagram, Twitter, Murder Beats, underscore, Facebook, I don't know. I probably got some fake pages on all the other shit sure. that he said. So follow the fake, fake pages, can't find the real one. You got a back page? And, nah. You don't have a back page? Just follow his back page, we gonna, we gonna pull up. Absolutely. You got a Casual <laughs> Encounters or anything like that? Nah, nah. I'm selling a couch on Craigslist too. If anybody wants to fuck with that, then, then let me know. Uh, I bought too many. I bought two sectionals, I only needed like one and a half. So if anybody wants to grab that, it's brand new. Haven't used it, haven't been farted in yet. So let me know. Uh, well, let's run, <laughs> run that track. Run that track. The official remix of Might Be, featuring Gucci Mane, produced by Murder Beast. The original of Might Be, featuring Gucci Mane. It's coming out probably in like a day or so. I haven't talked to my manager in like three days, so I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll figure that out. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, niggas and bitches, children of all ages, this has been... Grandma's grandpa, side things, main thing. I'm, I'm still, I, I just, just stole that from you right now. I just stole all that. So, this has been Red Bull Remix Lab Live. Um, are we staying tuned? Are we staying tuned after this? Are we... Fuck it, they don't want you to be here. Uh, everybody can suck a butt. Red Bull Remix Lab Live. I wish you guys... Much more happiness, much more remixes, much more bitches and niggas, much more everything in your life, more life, more blessings, T-Pain, Murder Beast, Murder Gang, Illuminati, Nappy Boy Entertainment. Young Murder, Young Hot Boy, you know what I'm saying, Murder Gang, Nappy all that Boy shit. Drifting, Nappy we Boy out Vape here. Team. Keep God First 2 coming soon. Keep God First, number two, is it the second one? Hell yeah, it's the second Keep one. Keep God First, number it's two, It's a sequel, soon. baby. Hey, look, we hope y'all have a good fucking rest of the day. Hey, uh, other than that, the end of summer tour is starting Friday again, so y'all meet me there. Suck a butt. Holla at your boy. Red Bull Remix Lab live. Eat one of these. Same time. <laughs>